with a revealing look inside the CIA. Once a place reserved mostly for men, today women make up nearly half the agency. Here's NBC's Ann Curry with the story. The mission you cannot beat. We were the girls. They've paved the way for us. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Deep inside CIA headquarters, a special room, the command post the night U.S. EELs killed Osama bin Laden and the scene of daily secret briefs by the agency's highest ranks. And here's what's new. On any given day, there yeah. are more women than men yeah. at this table. At this table. At this table. For the first time, nearly half of the CIA is female. Among them, Fran Moore, the director of intelligence in charge of the president's daily brief. And Sue Gordon, the director of support for America's global network of spies. In fact, women now hold five of the top eight jobs at the CIA. Even the deputy director, a heartbeat away from the top job, is for the first time a woman. Our deputy director, our executive director, our CIO, our director of support, our director for intelligence. If anyone had told you when you first started this agency that it would look like this or that you would have the jobs that you mm -hmm. have, what would you have said? that I would have the job that I'd have, I'd say, are you kidding? For decades, intelligence work was an all-boys club. Most of the jobs women could get were as secretaries. World War II allowed some patriotic young women to work as spies in the then-called Office of Strategic Services, including Doris Borer, who analyzed aerial photos for troop drops and found Nazi concentration camps, and Betty McIntosh, who spun propaganda to damage the Japanese war effort and once passed along the explosives that blew up a train. Doris, look, here are some dog tags. They're my dog tags. Borer, now 90, and McIntosh, 98, remember well the way it was. We were always referred to as the girls. There were two of us. What did you think about that? We didn't like it very much. I was doing exactly the same thing as majors and lieutenant colonels, but here I was was the girls, the girls. The yeah. girls. <laughs> and some things still haven't changed. I understand you don't talk a lot about this particular, no, uh, -uh. I no. can't ask any questions about this undercover. Sorry, Sorry Ken. No. Still today, mm. can't talk about it. No, sorry. <laughs> I wish I could help, but no. After the war, battle-hardened spies returned home to square one. So when Doris's chief needed a deputy... He said, you're the best qualified for this job. He said, I'm going to give it to Ed because he has a wife and a child to support, and you are married now, and you could get pregnant and leave. Even in the 90s, barely any women were in management. I spent 12 years as an analyst. I never had the uh, sort of tap on the shoulder. We think that you're capable of, of actually running a team. In 1995, after hundreds of female CIA employees had sued for gender discrimination, the agency realized it had to change. Today, CIA Director John Brennan tells us in his first interview in the job that the agency's leaders are picked for their abilities, gender notwithstanding. It was his decision to name a woman as his number two. Are there any qualities women bring that men might not be able to bring? I am very surprised at how perceptive and insightful women can be about how a man is acting. They have the opportunity to see the world through, I think, those very important eyes of a woman. The eyes of a woman zeroed in on Osama bin Laden. The team behind his capture was led largely by female officers. One, still unnamed, became the subject of Zero Dark Thirty. If those individuals had not been be working the issue at that time, I am not confident we would have been successful. We gathered in one room the agency's past and present. Do you have any advice for them? They've done all right on their own, I think, yeah, don't you? you? certainly have. Well, it certainly wasn't on our own. As for its future, 24-year-old Ashley Hurst is one of the newest recruits. We've had it easy compared to them. There's no question about gender or whether or not I can't do anything in the CIA. It would appear that seeing a woman director of the CIA is no longer a question of if, but when. Ann Curry, NBC News, Washington. And you can see more of Ann's reporting tonight on NBC Nightly News and also NBCNews.com.